back everyone in this session let us discuss about hypothesis based search by the finders algorithm the finders algorithm illustrates a way in which a more general than partial ordering can be used to organize the search for an acceptable hypothesis so here the search begins with h1 which is the most specific hypothesis in capital h and then it considers increasingly general hypothesis h1 through h4 based on the examples so here for your convenience i have just listed out all the hypotheses that we obtained as an output of the finders algorithm if you have not watched the finders algorithm i will provide you the link in the i card please do watch that then you can clearly understand what are these hypotheses how we obtained this and now here we are seeing only the representation in the sample space how we will be representing so here you can see the instance space and here you can see the hypothesis space hypothesis space and sample space is nothing but collection collection of instances in the instance space collection of hypothesis is nothing but the hypothesis space and here all the dots whatever you are seeing are the instances various instances and here you can see the various classifications we have only a plain dot we have a negative dot, and we have a positive so this plain dot indicates this particular instance right now we are not using it is not having any example with it so we are just mentioning it as a dark circle then negative so this particular instance is classified as a negative example so we are indicating it with the minus whereas this plus indicates this is a positive example so if an example is classified as positive we are indicating that with the plus sign if it is classified as a negative example we are indicating with a negative sign and if it doesn't have any value so just we are indicating it as a plain dot so various instances we have in the instance space just to show that we have taken all these dots so similarly if you take this plus from the examples that we have what are the positive examples in the previous data set that we have seen here i have listed the examples also for your convenience x1 is a positive sample similarly x2 is also a positive x3 x4 is a positive example x3 is a negative example here we are taking a just small example only four instances and coming to the hypothesis space so in the hypothesis space also randomly we are taking some dots and we are connecting them and while connecting one thing you should be careful so here the arrow representation so this arrow is represented from more general to the more specific so this direction only you should remember okay so here the hypothesis is starting with h not which is the most specific one will it be accepted by any of the examples that we have no because it is containing all files which is most specific it is not matching with any of the example attribute values next coming to h1 so this h1 will be satisfied by which example it will satisfied by example x1 because taking this x1 attribute values only we have constructed this x1 so let us map you can take any dot as h1 also okay uh, let me take this as h1 otherwise okay let us take this here this dot let us take this as h1 why because from h1 if you go in the upward direction you are getting h0 which is most specific so i am taking this particular dot okay h1 is accepted by x1 so let us map this carefully to only to instance x1 next coming to h2 h2 is more general compared to h1 so this h2 we obtained from example 
that means both x1 as well as x2 are accepted by the hypothesis h2 how let us check once so the first attribute value is sunny in the hypothesis in the example x1 it is sunny x2 also it is sunny in the hypothesis it is the second value is warm in example 1 it is warm example 2 also it is warm in the hypothesis space the third value is a question mark which is a more general value so normal is accepted by most general value even high is accepted by most general value then strong so here both in x1 and x2 it is strong x to coming to the fifth attribute value it is warm here also it is warm here also it is warm then coming to the sixth attribute it is same in x1 sixth attribute is same in x2 also sixth attribute is same so that means both the examples x1 as well as x2 are in compatible with h2 they are in agreement with the h2 so that means let us map this h2 i will take this as h2 this particular one okay and let us map this to x1 as well as x2 so in order to indicate both the samples together i just drawn this circle okay and i am connecting this line to this particular circle and then coming to h4 so h4 i will take it here it is the most general one it is accepted by all the positive examples in the hypothesis space so that is it is accepted by x1 x2 as well as x4 okay so we already checked for h2 right in a similar way you can check for h4 what are the examples accepted so okay all x1 as well as x2 as well as x3 is accepted by the hypothesis h4 so now let us map this to this outer circle so this outer circle is containing all the three samples x1 x2 as well as x4 so i am mapping here so this is how we will be forming the hypothesis space so this is how the hypothesis space search will be performed with the help of finders algorithm so if you want a general example uh, let us uh, take example of a formal dress okay so let us take it as a most general one then coming to a specific brand let us take allen solly okay for allen solly is taken as a little more specific then coming up in a hierarchy allen solly hyderabad as one specific location also i'm telling okay so then it is little more specific then let us make it even more specific allen solly hyderabad and this should not I am even giving one more exact location. So when I go up in the hierarchy, it is becoming more and more specific. When I go from more general to more specific, it is becoming more and more specific. So like that, H not H H not is the most specific. H one is more specific. Okay. So in in the example that we have seen, the hypothesis H four is the most general one which is like a formal dress okay then coming to h2 so you can take it as formal dress by allen solly so coming to h1 so you can say formal dress by allen solly hyderabad so like this you can make it more and more specific and more and more general hope you followed the concept If you have any doubts, please post in the chat box. Thank you.